Grapes is sort of like art as entertainment. Um, it's a sort of fun and inexpensive way to get the creative juices flowing, um, to try something a little different, a little new. But yeah, without the sort of like commitment of going to art school or doing like continuous art lessons at the end of sort of a, a three hour session, um, you walk away with a finished painting. So you'll have an instructor go through everything with you sort of step by step. You just relax, sit back, have some fun, sip some wine. And then yeah, at the end of your class you walk away with a finished painting or a finished artwork um, of some sort. Uh, yeah, so it's just a nice, fun, relaxing class where you get to try something new, be a little bit creative. first started in September 2016 well that's when we had the first sort of official class I was in my final year of studying and a little bit crazy finishing my final year and starting a business and being young well I thought it was I thought it was a bit crazy and young um, but it was fun and it was kind of just meant to be um, like an extra thing that I was doing on the side testing it out for future and stuff but it, it sort of took off from there. A lot of, a lot of um, adults or even kids have never really had the chance to paint on a canvas. I think there's um, a lot of people who, who maybe think that they're not good enough to paint on a canvas or anything like that. I don't know why it's a really strange thing. But yeah, so it's, it's nice to, to sort of give people a canvas and tell them you are good enough and you can do it and they, they do end up doing it, which is quite nice. offer a variety of different classes. We do sort of the main one that I think most people know about and hear about are our sort of weekly open classes. Um, those are ones where anybody can join. The painting is, is pre-selected uh, by myself. We do private classes. So those are ones where it's, uh, it's like a, a group of friends or a birthday party, any, any group of people that would like to sort of book the studio out for themselves. Uh, you get to choose your painting, you get to choose the date, you get to choose your time. Um, so yeah, all you need is a group of eight friends or, or people. And then the craft classes that we do, uh, very similar to sort of the, the open classes that I explained. It's a mix of people, um, but instead of your standard painting on a canvas, we do sort of slightly different things. Um, they all sort of still involve um, painting. But yeah, something where, you, where it has more of a function, you get to use your hands a little bit more. For prep for a class, or just for the whole business sort of in general, it starts off literally just by you know creating a painting um, for a class. Then I have to do sort of the advertising for it, you know, making sure people actually come to the class, that sort of thing. Um, then it goes into sort of admin, which is uh, is a lot of stuff. Uh, there's things like making sure I have stock, so making sure I have my canvassing, my paint, paint brushes, um, all of that stuff, uh, you know, here on time in the right amount before every single class. Um, you have to make sure that everything's set up and ready to go. Um, the studio needs to be cleaned before. Setting up each person's sort of seat and making sure you have everything that they need on there. You know, their canvas, the easel, that they have the right paint brushes, that the paint brushes aren't um, damaged from previous classes. Uh, making sure they're not hard, things like that. Um, all the little details, putting, you know, everyone always gets a little sweet with their thing, you know, just making sure that you have enough of that every time. We, we welcome them in, they get a, a sherry or a drink or something when they walk in. Um, you get sort of uh, shown to your table, or not really shown to your table, you get to go, you know, go over to the tables, pick where you want to sit. Um, you can grab a drink, you relax a little bit before the classes. Um, and then once everyone has arrived, everyone takes their seats um, and I start to explain the process of, of the classes.
is always a finished painting in the front of the class. So everyone can see sort of the end product. And then what I do is I demonstrate how to to paint that exact painting that I've done before. So I'll show you literally all the steps to get that same painting. But then you will often get people who don't really want to do that exact thing. So they want to change the coloring, you know, small things like that. Or um, sometimes uh, they want to do a totally different painting. So that's totally fine. So people are allowed to do that in our classes. You, your canvas is yours. You're allowed to do whatever you want on it. But some people will will finish a little bit um, quicker, some will finish a little slower, all of that sort of thing. So we sort of, or I sort of work on the, the average of the class, so when the majority of the class is finished with a certain ste step, then I'll go on to the next one. But I will always tell those who aren't finished yet with that certain step that um, they can watch the next set of demonstrations and then they can carry on from where they were. So we never try to rush people um, into, you know, catching up and things like that. Um, we let everyone work at their own pace. For the most part, it, it's um, it's not that difficult to sort of illustrate um, what I'm doing to the people and, and you know um, get them to understand what I'm painting and the, how I'm painting it and those sort of things. Um, because we do break everything down sort of really step by step, um, and I'm obviously demonstrating everything and talking them through everything as I'm doing it. So they, they get to see it, they get to hear it, um, and I really, if we are drawing, you know, a shape of something, a house or whatever it is, I, I break it down into shapes and lines and things like that. So I really try to, to get it through to everyone um, in a way that they're all going to understand. There are times when people don't quite understand what I'm getting at. Um, then I, I, I sort of stop what I'm doing and I, I try to rethink it um, and I take a different approach to what I'm explaining. Um, I try to think of a different example or I will um, paint something nice and big on a different canvas so that they can see just that section a little bit bigger without all the, the rest of the painting going on around it. Generally it's alright because we do really go through everything step by step. Um, so yeah, so most of the time people really understand and they can see what I'm doing. Adults, sometimes yeah, they do get a little carried away with the wine um, and when you have a class of 36 people, 36 women often and they are all drinking wine and it's you know big groups of friends and stuff, um, there's a lot of noise and a lot of laughter and that sort of stuff but um, yeah it makes it more fun. We try to keep the, the classes quite short so I, I try to keep it within three hours. It does sometimes end up being sort of three and a half hours. So the class is always split up into two halves um, with yeah, a nice sort of 15-20 minute break in the middle where people can walk around, stretch their legs, they get to sort of take a look at all the paintings around them, um, grab some more wine. Also we are always explaining new things, I'm, I'm giving new steps and um, new demonstrations all the time. So it's not like you're, you're just sitting for three hours um, in silence staring at, at the canvas. You know, you, you're chatting in between, you're sipping on your wine, you giggling at something, um, all of that sort of stuff in between. So people stay quite focused. Um, there also are, are times in the class where um, people do, it goes a bit quiet and people sit in, uh, nice and relaxed and they do concentrate. Um, a lot of people often say to me that, that it's so nice to, to sit there and to sort of zone out a little bit sometimes. You are so busy with um, talking to your friends or laughing or you know concentrating on what you're doing in the painting that you often, you don't have time to, to think about um, other things like work and, and that sort of stuff. Your mind doesn't get to um, drift off into problem solving um, for things that you've got to do the next day. The reason that I included sort of the wine into it and made it more like painting and wine classes um, is because I think a lot of people like to do sort of an activity um, with drinking um, or yeah doing something that involves drinking I think especially in PE uh, people enjoy sort of social drinking and stuff like that. It also takes the seriousness out of my classes. It's more like you're, you're coming for a fun night out, a little bit of um, wine and some friends and some painting, um, as opposed to just coming to do you know, an art class or a painting class. It's more of a, a social thing, I think it adds that to it, so it takes that seriousness out. 
Um, it helps people to relax a little bit more, especially if it's their first time. Um, yeah, people like to have the glass of wine. It's sort of like a little bit of a, 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 their um, comfort or their, their safety net while they're painting. One of my favorite things about um, painting with grapes or about the job is that um, I love seeing people's faces and their reactions at the end of a class. So often they'll walk in and they, they're very nervous. Um, they're sort of a little bit doubtful of themselves. They sit there looking at this blank canvas, or not always blank canvas, sometimes a little bit of pencil lines on there. Um, but just sitting looking at this white canvas, um, having no idea how to paint it, how to paint. Half of them have um, never actually even painted on a canvas before. Um, and then you yeah, offer them to create something that they're really proud of, um, and that's really beautiful, beautiful at the end. Um, it's nice to see, um, especially when they're completely finished and everybody's standing there with their paintings doing photos and you're walking around looking at the different things or they're looking at the different paintings. Um, it's really nice to see the people smiling and how impressed they actually are with themselves um, and that they're quite proud of their paintings. Well, it was a really lovely afternoon, lots of fun. The, I think one of the most exciting things about it was actually seeing how creative you can be and when we walked in here and looked at the picture it didn't look anything <laughs> like I imagined mine was going to turn out to be and yet it's been wonderful fun and all of them are different. Yes. And, yeah. That's what's so nice about it is the uniqueness of everybody's pictures that come out and all their talents and also the way Sarah teaches you step by step, tells you exactly what to do is really helpful for those who have never even held a paintbrush in their hands before. So, oh, and it's just such fun, and all the giggles and laughter. And it's not heavy lacquer, and it's not heavy lacquer. It's relaxed, it's for friends to do, and it's a good day. So it's my third time coming to Painting with Grapes, and it's always a great experience because you get to uh, really dabble into your artistic ability and just show that you actually have artistic ability. And it's, yeah, I encourage everyone to come and try it out. Um, just expand your mind a little bit. The evening was amazing, um, very inspiring, and actually surprisingly not not just fun, like just entertaining and amazing sharing the moments with friends. The wine. <laughs> the wine helps with, with, with a bit of freedom. <laughs> I think the wine helps with the way you see the end product. Yeah, that too. <laughs> the grapes help, they for the nerves. <laughs>